Do not adjust your sets. There's two of them. We've probably got some explaining to do. We're going walkies. Yeah. We're going walkies then. Come on then. Who's here? Go on then. Hmm. Um, like I said, we've probably got a bit of explaining to do. I'll let you sort them to help. You ready? and welcome back to Off Course with the Robinsons. It's official. I don't know, I'll just start throwing it in there and see if people react as well to it. So that's the first option, that's I think what we're going to go with. And today, we're out walking the dog again, but with a difference because you've probably noticed there's uh, it's like you being pulled by a sled. Yeah. How are you finding it? It's a bit confusing, you need one of them double leads. I think it's confusing because they look so similar as well. So this is Lily. Lily? Lily? Come here. And Lily's our friend's dog, we're looking after him there. We work for the NHS, so they're busy today, and we've been called in. Been called in, so I'm quite happily obliged. Jameson fancies her a bit, which. We're going walkies then. Hey, we're going walkies. Come on then, we're going. Jane, we're going walkies, are we? Who wants to go? Come on then, let's go. Come on. You hold that a second. That? You mean our dog? Uh, pit stop, pit stop. So apologies if you thought that the title meant we'd bought another dog. We have thought about it for a while, haven't we? It's a good test. So it's a good test. I'm not like it's not going well. <laughs> but yeah. it, no, it's, it's okay. After it's... half an hour, we were going. Ah, <laughs> Sorry for quitting in again guys, but I'm going to have to show you behind the scenes of a behind the scenes of a behind the scenes because this is um, this is funny. So much fun editing this. Are you two winding each other up? Stop winding her up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> she nearly jumped in the pond and you know it's not your dog, like he'd be alright, but you never know with with another dog. But um so we've called this we got another four thousand pound dog or what like if I can find it more expensive I'll call it more and I mean I'm not we did our research didn't we in the first lockdown yeah because we're obviously looking for another one we'd love to breed him actually but we've done a bit of research it and scares me a little bit what breeding him yeah yeah like you hear some like horror stories sometimes that you know when when they're actually like going about it yeah can get quite, the other dog can get quite aggressive and yeah like, but that's, I think that's what dogs do, isn't it? But, so long story short, we, I'm not a dog breeder and I'm not a dog salesperson. I'm not, I mean, I mean there's a big moral standpoint in the minute where when people are getting dogs, should you adopt a dog? Should you make, obviously, you should always make sure you can look after it. Oh, we've got a straggler. You should always make sure, obviously, you're not getting a dog for lockdown. And I feel like that's why I mean, we uh, we paid nine fifty for Jay, yeah, and the the, the guys with Lily paid fifteen hundred, and in I the, in first lockdown. In first lockdown, now I thought personally nine fifty was a like a decent price for a dog. That was two years ago, then fifteen hundred quid a year ago near enough, and now four grand. You'll see, I've put a little screenshot on screen now, and for me that's like I'm not calling anyone out because supply and demand and business is yeah, what it. Advantage. Yeah, for me that's taking advantage and like I don't want anyone calling us out saying people are just trying to make a living and people people have to make a living but then four grand for a dog. I know loads of people who would make great dog owners, give them great homes, but they're just not paying four grand for a dog and she's loving it around here, isn't she? And um I work with a dog reader and they bred her 
red German pointers. Yeah. And I said, oh, they had nine puppies. And I said, oh, how much are you going to charge for them? And she said, the first thing she said to me was, I'm not taking advantage of lockdown. Yeah. It's 1300. Yeah. And that's for a German pointer. We're talking a big dog there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I don't think my dog goes on square footage, but... <laughs> no, but it's Joke. Not... I'm joking. <laughs> I apologise. Right, so let us know where you stand in regard to dogs and dog prices. And I'm aware that things have to cost money and things aren't... I mean, you have to... Things cost money, don't they? But then, such as like our mates, they they want to adopt one, don't they? And I think that'd be a wonderful idea. Or a rescue. Or a rescue. Yeah, adopt, rescue. Look after one that's maybe already in the world rather than buying one that's been bred to make money. And Which is a nice idea. It's a lovely idea. I just... There's so many dogs that need rehoming. Yeah. But when I looked into it, there's so many requirements that have, obviously dogs have been given up for a reason. So yeah. when you go on and you say like, you know, I've got children or you know whatever. Yeah. A lot of dogs aren't been aren't able to be in a household with young kids or. Yeah. You know they need plenty of walking or like yeah. whatever. And it's not like you, it's not like you can just go and pick your breed and then adopt one. Like you basically go and and see like I very much doubt you'll ever see two of these guys and girls up for adoption and part of that's a business sense isn't it like people people will sell them and I think that's awful but then I mean I, I couldn't think of anything worse than not having Jay now no, um, and like going on to the next point of now they are so expensive right we wrote Lauren because he's pulling my arm off with the camera and like my next point with them now being so expensive like oh is it time yeah it's time it's time yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not feeling myself picking dog mess up. That's where I kind of draw the line. Um, but like going on to my next point, I couldn't think of anything worse than not having Jay. And with the prices of dogs going up, especially cockapoos and French bulldogs and all, it sounds awful, but the dogs that are in at the minute, I hate that. But um, like we said before, we've never ever once thought twice of spending 950 no, after we've got him. Definitely not, so no. Kind of but I think there's a difference. Like we wouldn't have been in the position to spend four grand on him. No. And I don't think many but people... do you think people that buy him for four grand even think about it? I don't know. But for me, when as soon as things go up to that price and that value, dogs are starting to get stolen a lot. Dogs are starting to get pinched. People are turning up in vans, pinching dogs and... Like, people are telling us at the moment not to let them off the lead because people are going to popular dog walking spots and just pinching them and selling them and... And, like, when... So, let's say I walked him on my own. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bigger target. Yeah, and people are going around with scissors, aren't they? Cutting the lead and taking them and... Even people in big vans... Yeah. ...jump out the back. And I suppose for them it's easy money and it's like... It's like, it's like taking candy from a baby, taking a, a puppy from a woman and it's awful. It, re it really... It really, really riles me up, but... But you, then you think, what would he do? Like he's, he would never leave me, that's the, that's the no. point. I'd love it if he'd just run home. Yeah, because he is a bit of a nightmare when he's not with us. Like he would Lily, never leave me. Lily this morning's been a bit... She misses her mum and dad, doesn't she? And you can tell. Yeah. Don't you? Lily? Don't you? you Don't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, how are you finding walking to? Are you getting in yeah. knots? No, but I think if we had to, you'd get that one lead, don't you, with the two? Yeah, you'd get used to it a bit, wouldn't you? Would you have a boy and a girl? I'd love a boy and a girl, yeah. Would you want them Would you want them looking exactly the same like they do? Yeah, I think they look so cute. Lily? Jameson? <whistles> As if my dog ignores me, Lily really looks. Jameson? This is another dog. Lily? Anyone? Yeah. yeah! The tunnel! You were just saying, Laura, they get on really well now, don't they, as well? Yeah. They used to scrap a little bit, but apart from when Lily was eating Jameson's food, they, uh, they've got on quite well. I'll put some things on screen now, now we're in the tunnel. Right, come on in. Ready? Sit. Good. Down. Down. Good boy, good girl. Yeah. I forgot where we were there, but obviously back to like the dogs being pinched and stuff like that. Just be really careful, because like, I can imagine... For some, well, some people would like having a, a kid being kidnapped, wouldn't it? It'd be absolutely awful, so be really careful. I don't know where it's happening. We've been told it's happening near us here in Yorkshire, and I think it's actually quite rife in London as well, so just be really careful with that scum of the earth, those people. Um, but I'd just say, if you are looking to buy a puppy, do your research. I mean, there's a really good group on Facebook that breed cockapoos, mm. and she did a video in the first lockdown just saying, like, this is people trying to make money, like they're not, they're like being brought up in like 
happy farms. Well, the, the expensive stuff. ones. Yeah, and like, you know, it's like proper breeding farms that are like, yeah. you know, trying to make the money. So just do your research on it. And that's like, I can't... Don't fall in love with a picture of oh, a dog until you've yeah. seen it. Are you bathing these later? Yeah. Imagine trying to bath two of them. He's an absolute nightmare at the best of times on a bath, but no, and I guess that's, I guess that is down to people paying the money. Like, I think as soon as they went up in lockdown and people were taking advantage of the price or people were taking advantage of people wanting dogs, if everyone would have just said, well, no, that's ridiculous. We'll pay the price that they've always been. Yeah. And that's hard to say because if you really, if you had your heart set on having a dog already, you're not going to let a little bit of, or a, a difference in money change that so i sort of get where people are coming from there but i also think that as soon as people pay the money supply and demand simply economics yeah i got a d in economics so i know what i'm talking about d for dogs d for dunce <laughs> so another thing to be wary about when you are looking for dogs and i mean cockapoos and bait well just dogs really i don't know why i had to get that in but another thing to look at when you're looking at dogs is scammers like uh, some of our friends got scammed didn't they? they put a deposit down online and I know on all the groups and whenever you read into what to do when you're looking at a puppy and a dog it says make sure you go and visit them twice, make sure they're in the same place make sure the mum's there I want to go in the bakery Yeah, I do as well Make sure it all seems okay And some of our friends put a deposit down on one online and unfortunately it was a big scam wasn't it and loads of people, loads of people got scammed with it so be really careful with that I think they got it back on insurance though so, I, I, yeah, but just be really careful with that because I hate how it's one thing taking someone's money, but look, look at these here. I think just the, the idea that when you buy a dog, you're kind of buying a family member, aren't you? Yeah. So then for people to either steal it or con you on it, it really doesn't sit right with me at all. Not that conning people does anyway, um, but I reckon we'll call it there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it on Instagram? Follow yeah. on, is that you getting a follow on Instagram, yeah? Come on. Yeah. So there we go. I think we're going to leave that there for today. That was another episode of Off Course with the Robos. No. No. I don't know. I prefer that, but. Robos? Yeah. It's going to be a Robo. It's shabby. Uh, anyway, guys, we're going to leave that there. Have you got anything to add? No, I just say be careful, do your research, plenty of research yep. before you make any big, like you would with any big purchase. Yeah, and for me, I've got to get this out of there. He's like the best thing we ever did, really. He's like, yeah. you wouldn't be without him now, would you? Even when he's a bit of a nightmare. Never. He's good. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Off course with the Robos. It's I've got her now. That's really going to wind her up. And apart from that, we'll see you the day after tomorrow. And they're living for it. How are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's still not there. Brilliant. Do you want me to take one of them? Like behind the scenes of behind the scenes. <laughs> oh. <laughs>